this video, we will migrate a sample REST service based on the classic app server architecture to PaaS for OpenEdge. For a video overview of the basics of migrating from a classic app server application to PaaS for OpenEdge, see the Migrate Classic App Server Applications to PaaS for OpenEdge video linked in the description. On PaaS for OpenEdge, Classic REST services use the REST transport provided by the ABL web application. When developing new REST services, Progress recommends using the web transport, which provides additional HTTP verbs and web handlers. But for migrating classic REST applications, the REST transport provides compatibility. In this video, we will configure Pass for OpenEdge to host a classic app server REST service, migrate the classic app server REST service code to run on Pass for OpenEdge, and then test the service connection in a web browser. Let's start by configuring Pass for OpenEdge to run a classic REST service. The first step to deploying an ABL web application to a Pass for OpenEdge instance is ensuring that you have a Pass for OpenEdge instance to work with. The Migrate Classic App Server Applications to Pass for OpenEdge video explains how to create an instance and merge the Classic App Server uBroker.properties into the Pass for OpenEdge format. In this video, we will use the same instance we created then. The instance is called My Business Server. It runs on localhost and the port it uses for HTTP is 7705. The next step is to deploy a new ABL web application to the instance. This application will host the transports, spring security, and business logic for the classic REST service. In ProENV, navigate to the bin directory of the instance. Run tcman deploy with a dash A option to provide a name for the ABL web application. Let's call it Migrated REST. Then provide the path to the oeabl.war file, which is in the extras directory of the Pass for OpenEdge installation. Run the command to deploy the new ABL web application to your instance. The last server configuration task is to enable the REST transport for the ABL web application on production instances. If the instance's security model is set to production, as it is in the My Business Server instance, use oeprop to set the REST adapter to enabled. In the bin directory of your Pass for Open Edge instance, enter the following command to check the status of the REST transport. Then, set it to 1 to enable it. Next, we will migrate the classic REST application to Pass for OpenEdge. This is a three-step process. Copy the server code to the deployed application on Pass for OpenEdge. Extract the .par service definition file, and then deploy the .par file using deploy REST. To access the classic app server REST application code, open the Progress Developer Studio for OpenEdge project that you use to develop your classic REST application. There are a few items that you need to take note of. Check the database connection. Notice the connection string uses the Sports 2000 database that is included with OpenEdge 11. Ensure that your Pass for OpenEdge instance has access to the database location and that this is specified in the OpenEdge.properties file for your Pass for OpenEdge instance under the Agent Startup param. Open the classic REST service that you created for the project and take note of the service relative URI and resources. They will be used in testing the REST services on your Pass for OpenEdge instance. Copy the server code, including the .ps and .r files that support your REST application, from your project's app server folder to the OpenEdge directory of your ABL web application, which in this example we named Migrated REST. Next, you extract the .par file. The classic app server REST service may be deployed to the classic app server as a REST application WAR file or as an incremental service ZIP file. The REST application concept has been replaced in Pass for OpenEdge with the REST transport. 
locate the .war or .zip file for your classic REST application, or generate it again using Progress Developer Studio. Extract the .war or .zip file to a directory that you can easily access. In this case, we will run a jar extract command on the war file and extract it to a local directory. Then, navigate through the file structure to find the .par file. It's located in the extracted directory that's named after the service in the webinf slash adapters directory. The next step is to deploy the .par file to your ABL web application using deploy rest, so take note of its location. Navigate to the bin directory of your instance and run deploy rest. This utility requires two options. The absolute path of the .par file and the name of the ABL web application that you created, in this case, migrated REST. Now that the REST service is deployed to the Paths for Open Edge instance, it's time to test the service connection in a web browser. Start the instance. If it fails to start, try the troubleshooting tips described in the Migrate Classic App Server applications to Paths for Open Edge video. Next, call the REST service in a browser. The REST service is defined in the URL with the following format. In the case of the sample classic REST services that we have migrated, we can access them by entering these URLs in the browser. The number 1 is a customer record in the Sports2000 database as defined by our REST service and our getCustomer.p file. We have also defined a sample service that gets all customers from the Sports2000 database with our getAllCustomers.p file. When you are finished with your testing, shut down the instance using tcman stop. This completes our look at moving Classic App Server REST services to the Progress Application Server for OpenEdge. To learn more about this topic, see the links provided in the video description and visit docs.progress.com